Hello, and welcome to another video for a successful transition from monogamy to open. Uh, we're in the series of the top 10 mistakes to avoid in open relationships. And in our last video, we did numbers one and two, and today we're going to talk about number three and four. Uh, number three is pushing your partner to what's called take one for the team. Um, and for those of you who have never heard this term, basically take one for the team, um, it's a term I think originally from the swinging lifestyle community, um, though it certainly is appropriate within any type of um, open relationship dynamic. And basically what it means is that in order for you to have sex with someone else, your partner then needs to have sex with someone that they are not wanting to have sex with. So it could be in a threesome, uh, for example, where in order for you to have the threesome with the other person, your partner now has to join in, and that's not really somebody they want to be sexual with. Um, or if you're swapping with another couple, um, in order for your partner to play with the half of the other couple they really want to play with, now you because they don't play separately, you have to then have sex with the other half of the couple who you're not attracted to, you're not interested in, um, and that never works well. That creates a huge amount of resentment, um, discomfort, you know, and sometimes it can kind of blow up the whole thing of wanting to be in open relationships if your partner is pushing you uh, to engage sexually with people you don't want to engage in. Um, and so definitely pushing your partner to take one for the team is a bad idea if you want this to work well. So I always advise against that. Uh, number four is talk about what each of you is comfortable doing with other people before you're actually in that situation. Um, and it can be similar to the um, not taking one for the team or it can be just, you know, Maybe maybe in a certain day, you're not necessarily in the mood for uh, certain sexual activities. Um, in which case, you guys need to have that conversation ahead of time before you meet somebody. And now you're uh, wanting to go and get, get down and dirty. And yeah, now you, you need to have that awkward conversation of, oh, well, I really don't want to do that, or I don't want to do this, or or if you have some couples will have certain uh, sexual activities that they decide they only want to reserve for each other. Um, for some people, it can be kissing. For some people, it can be certain sexual behaviors that they decide they only want to keep for each other. Well, that's a good conversation to have ahead of time so that when you're, you're meeting this other people, you're meeting these new people, you can have uh, that conversation up front before you get in, uh, in too deep uh, because that may not work for them. Um, for some people, kissing is an, is an integral part of their sexual script. And if, if they're not kissing you, uh, it, they have a hard time getting warmed up. They have a hard time getting really into the sexual mood and enjoying it if you've decided that kissing is only something you do with your primary partner. So that's very important to know those things and have that discussion ahead of time. Um, you know, and along those lines, some people, uh, particularly if they're not sure that they want to play with uh, some people, but they do with others, they might have signals. Uh, they might have a, a, a word they use, a term they use, which seems rather neutral to anyone else, but they know what it means. Uh, or some sort of signal um, under the table, you, you tap your partner's thigh, you know, one time for yes, two times for I'm not sure, and three times for oh, absolutely not. Um, so that it's something that's easy to do. You both know what it means, and yet the people around you aren't necessarily aware of it. So those can be some tips to use um, to help you in those situations so that uh, you have better communication about what you're comfortable with and what you're not. So that's all for today. Uh, next week we'll return. We'll talk about numbers, the rest of the uh, top 10 list and have a great weekend. And I will see you then. If you haven't already signed up for the uh, private Facebook group, a successful transition from monogamy to open, 
please go ahead and sign up um, if you or have friends or people you know who you think this would be a good group for them recommend it to them and uh, we look forward to seeing them there thanks so much have a great weekend bye